So the question about the inverter I wanted to ask you is, if we had it installed about 40 feet from the common house here, to, to the north, northwest, um, uh, it, it's pretty it's much free of people being near it. But on occasion, people may be there. What could we do to further protect people? Well, the best place for the inverter is on the outside of the building. And you can put a shield over it, so you know you should consider putting the metal shield. A metal shield? Two to inches? To in? screen it, yeah. Do you know about it? No. So, We've just a mild it. metal shield. Okay. Uh, mild steel, and okay. uh, that should block a lot of the electromagnetic radiation emissions out of it. And you should also be aware of what's on the other side of the wall, because these fields go straight through the wall and can affect people on the other side of the wall. So you shouldn't put it in a location where you're expecting people to be on the other side of the wall. Right. So right. as long as you've got it shielded, it right. should stop a lot of the emissions. And that's why you don't want wireless on the inverter, because you are going to need the wireless to communicate with the wireless router. And if you start shielding it, you're going to block that signal. OK. So you want a wired connection to your inverter. Right. Right. And then just a quick follow-up there. Uh, when you measured the field around the inverter in mm -hmm. our at my house a couple uh -huh. years ago, uh -huh. I noticed that when we got about six feet, eight feet away, it, it was it was way down compared uh -huh. to two feet. That's so right. The, the, the intensity is particularly two. It's two, particularly bad to close. Four. You know, mm -hmm. the thing I tell people about inverters is, yeah. you know, you should stay a good ten feet away from them, and uh, you know, you certainly shouldn't be having an inverter on the wall and your desk right next to where that inverter is. It's like the worst scenario. So you, you want to be a good 10 feet away from an inverter system. It's a very high-powered device and can have some quite high-powered fields coming out of it. So, so when, when we're talking about shielding, you want to shield the outside of the inverter if it's on the outside of right. the wall. You also want to shield the inside wall so that you've got a complete shield around the inverter that stops the fields from coming into the building. The ideal place for the inverter, obviously it's not applicable to this building, but the place where it should be mounted normally is the garage, where there's no people, right? as far away out of the human environment. And uh, it's a very common mistake to actually mount them on bedrooms or kitchens or living rooms, okay. where the fields will just come straight in and get the people. Okay. Okay.